This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 24, and verse 6. Let's read it. For I will set my eyes upon them for good, and I will bring them again to this land. The Bible says he will bring us again into this land. Which land? Jerusalem. So that's why you know the imposter, those that are claiming to be of that, they are not from that land. Revelation 2 and 9, Revelation 3 and 9. If you got wisdom, you understand the point we're making. Right? Again to this land, and I'll build them. The Moses said he's going to build us. And not pull them down. And I'll plant them and not pluck them up. There we go, man. Right? There we go. Let's go to Jeremiah still. 29. Jeremiah 29 and verses 10. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 and verses 10. We'll read 10 through 14. Jeremiah 29 and 10 through 14. Keep in mind, man. Right? So we want to link it up. We want to show you everything. Okay? Keep in mind. There's nothing new under the sun. This thing happened in the past. It will happen again. Okay? We were taken as a captive back in those days. The most I say, I'll bring you back again. Let me get a revelation. I want to get Genesis ready. Genesis chapter 15. Genesis chapter 15. All right. All right. Genesis chapter 15. I'm going to have it ready. Right. So let's go right here. As I say, let's go to it. Jeremiah. This is the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 29 and verses 10 through 14. Jeremiah 29, 10 through 14. Let's read it. For that said the Lord, that after 70 years be accomplished. So keep in mind, 70 is a perfect number. It's a complete number. Seven. The seven churches, the seven spirit, the seven hill, the seven mountain, the seven churches, the seven major angel, right? The seven plagues, the seven seal, and the list goes on and on and on. You got to understand. 70 is a complete number, right? The seven day, right? Seven day. Of the week, right? Keep in mind, right? And 10 is a complete number as well. So, after 70, 70 years, now this, it goes hand in hand with the ancient Babylon and Babylon the Great, both way, both way. Like I read in the book of what? Jeremiah, right? Chapter 16. And I read in the book of Isaiah, I read Jeremiah chapter 29 as well as I'm reading right now and we're also in the book of Job 24. Now let us continue. He said, For that said the Lord, that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon. You gotta keep in mind. Be accomplished at Babylon. So after the time of our sin, our iniquity being fulfilled, okay, same thing here in America, Babylon the Great Canada, Europe, or North America, wherever we live in it. Okay, let's continue. At Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word toward you. The most I say, you will visit that. So the most is about to visit the Israelite that keep the law, the commandment of the most high. The most is about to visit the United Snake of America. The most is about to visit Canada. The most is about to visit France, Germany, England, and the list goes on and on and on. Just because of his, his children, the Israelite, those that keep the law, the commandment of the most high. Right? He said, And perform my good word toward you in causing you to return to this place, in causing our forefather and us to return into this place. Which place? Jerusalem. For I know the thought that I think toward you, said the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. You see, we are expecting the Mosai to deliver us from Babylon the Great. We are expecting, we are hoping on the Mosai to say, Brother and sister, don't you see the video of the brother and the camps? All this came all this brother bringing out video, exposing. Listen, man, this is your hope. This is the food that you need. Ye so-called blacks are telling you in Native Indian. Eh? 
Stop worrying about your money, your bank account. Listen, man, when you die, where you going to take the money to, man? Where are you going to take your bank to? All this money you got in the bank, what are you going to do with it, man? What are you going to do with it? Come out and join us, man. Come out and join the brother. Keep the Passover and repent and stop sinning, man. Let's read it. He said, Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Right now, the most say, hearken unto our prayer. Right now, the most say, hearken unto our prayer. Right? And ye shall seek me and find me. When ye shall search for me with all your mind, with all your heart. And I'll be found, I'll be found of you, said the Lord. And I'll turn away your captivity. What would the most, right now we see in captivity right now. Because we still got to pay for taxes. You still got to file for your taxes every year. Guess what? Esau is telling you, you can't raise chicken in this city. You can't raise no, no chicken. You know, the neighbor complaining. You can't do this, blah, 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 blah. Guess what? They still got to bring you to neighbor building, right? Right? To do all this weakness that they do, all the evil that they do. Man, listen, man. The police got to pull you over. You got to get pulled over. You know what I'm saying? You still got, man, listen. And you to tell me this is not captivity. You got to pay taxes on the water, Right? You got to pay taxes on your flour, taxes on your oil, oil, taxes on your clothing, your underwear, man. This is captivity, man. This is not fun. We need to be delivered from this place. We definitely need our brother and sister, man. The elect need to be delivered, man. Those that work day and night, man, serving the most high with truth and sincerity. Those that humble themselves down before the Mosai, they must be delivered. And they need to be delivered. The Mosai will happen to their prayer, man. They be vest. He said, you tell Esau, you tell Esau, right, that you marry according to the Bible. Then Esau say, no, well, so you didn't go to the court, you didn't go to the government, then you are not married. That's what they believe in. And they be vexing brother and sister. They be vexing our soul by brother and sister staying in the spirit, man. And remember Lot, that Lot was vexed by the fifth conversation. I know you get vexed, brother and sister. We know. When you go into the institution, when you tell them that you're an Israelite, they look on you down and say, what? When you tell them you are a Jew, they look on you like, what? You know what? It's a good. Remember Lot. Lot was vexed by the fifth conversation with all those people he was living in. And he was ridiculized by his own son's, sons-in-law, his own daughters, and the list goes on and on and on. So be of good cheer, brother and sister, as the scriptures say. We must be of good cheer. It's a good. The most high power you have about Shemir, he sees everything. He's about to judge Babylon the Great. He's about to judge spiritual Egypt. This is spiritual Egypt. That's why you must keep the Passover. You got to be set apart, man. You got to separate yourself from Babylon the Great. You got to separate yourself from this wicked system, man. Don't join him with the wicked to oppress the people. Don't do it. If that is your job, look for another job. Don't join him with the wicked to oppress the people. Don't do it. If your job is telling you to do evil against the people, your own people, don't do it. Quit that job and look for another job. Look for another job. Look for another job. If your job is bringing you to do evil, to go against your own people, to do evil, listen, you're going to have to look for another job. Or you won't make it. You're going to have to look for another job. Or you won't make it to the kingdom. Let's read it. And I'll be fond of you, said the Lord. And I'll turn away your captivity and will gather you from all the nations. And I'll gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I've driven you. All the places where I've driven you, said the Lord. And I'll bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. So eventually... All the location, all the places of brothers and sisters, the Israelites have been scattered to the Moses I say he will deliver them again from that place and bring them into the promised land, which is Jerusalem. So you gotta keep in mind. You must keep the you have to keep the Passover. Or you don't know the Mosai. Or you don't know the Mosai. Alright? You can't just be like that. No, let's go right here, man. So the Moses is about to bring judgment upon Babylon the Great. For all the oppression, the evil they have done against us, against the so-called blacks, Latino and Native, all this time, since uh, before 70 AD. 
before 70 AD. This place was set up so that the Mose can show his power, man. The same way the Mosai show his power in ancient Egypt, the Mosai is about to show his might, his power in America, Babylon the Great, man. The Mosai is about to show his might. The Mosai said, he told Moses, no, to, uh, yeah, Moses and who? And Paul, he said, man, they said, let's just go to it, man. Let me just read Genesis. Genesis, this is the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 15. All right, let's go to it. Let's read it. Let's read it. This is the book of Genesis chapter 15. Genesis chapter 15, and we're going to read from verses 12. Genesis 15 and 12. This is the same thing, man. Same thing happening, right? And I'm going to show you with a couple books, man. This is the book of Genesis chapter 15 and verse 12. And when the sun was going down, a deep sea fell upon Abraham, and lo, and horror of great darkness fell upon him. So all Abraham saw in that dream, it was darkness, man. Abraham saw, in all he saw was destruction. Destruction of his children. That's what the Moses showed, darkness. The Moses showed to Abraham, there will be evil. They are going to do evil against his children, man. In the time to come, in the future, in the next generation. Let's read and when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abraham, and lo, and horror of great darkness fell upon him. And he said unto Abraham, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in the land that is not there. So you keep in mind, Canaan, which is the land of our forefathers, he just that the Moses allotted them there. So the Moses, at the end of the day, he's going to root them out of the land and give it back to the, to the people he already promised it. It just when you read it in the in Genesis, it makes it sound like the Mosai just took the land from the children of Canaan and just gave them to us. No, that was the our land prior, right? Jerusalem was already set up for our forefathers from the beginning. Okay. Okay. All right. If you ain't got no wisdom, you cannot understand it. You need wisdom to understand. All right. Without wisdom, you cannot understand. All right. You see, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. For how long they're gonna afflict us? Let me show you something. You see this, this book right here is called what? The pagan book of death, right? Throughout the four corners of this earth, everything that celebrate, I mentioned in this book. Throughout the four corners of this earth, whether it be in the north, in the south, the east, or the west, all the celebrate are nothing else than pagan folly day. Pagan folly is all written in detail in this book. Your birthday, when the list goes on, nothing is done war. Pagan, 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 pagan day. Pagan things, man. And mainly in this country, this is what they push for. Pagan is everywhere. You see this book right here? Right? It's called Esau Edom. You don't know who is Esau Edom? Esau Edom are the so-called white people. Esau Edom are the so-called white people. All right, the biblical nationality or identity or identity is what Esau Edom, Idumia, Chaldea, Bozrah, okay, the daughter of Babylon, and the list goes on and on and on. The Chaldee. You see this? So they're the one that wage war, drop bombs, drones on everybody. They're the one that stole the land of everybody. They don't stay in their own land, right? They're the one that took and stole the land of everybody. They're the one that tell you that, guess what? If you are not married in the court, or you are not married, or whatever they, they tell you to get married, then they don't consider that as a marriage. Meanwhile, we know that marriage, marriage is consumed by, this, by, by sex, right? But they the first one to get married, guess what? And three days later, on, they divorce. Or four days later, on, they divorce. or one year later, on, they already divorce, right? So keep in mind, this is Babylon the Great, man. And you to tell me that America is not Babylon the Great? The United Snake of America? Canada is not Babylon the Great? It's not Babylon the Great? It's not the spiritual Egypt? You see this book right here? What is it called? Auctions. A Jew selling blacks, right? And you go in there. This book is dealing by the selling of who? The Israelites, the royal Jews by who? The Jewish people, all right? 
Let's read this. Take a look. This is in Spanish. This book is called Brevisma Relación de las Destrucción de la Destrucción de las Indias. Bartolomé de las Casas. So remember, this book is in Spanish. It's talking about what? The destruction of America and the Caribbean. By who? The conquistador, the so-called white people, right? Iso Ida, all right? Happening here in America, North America, Central America, and South America, and in the Caribbean. This is the book. Am I making it up? No. You see? Let me drop that. This is Bible of the Greek. Here is another book. Check it out. Here is another book. This book is called The Hidden Treasure That Lie in Plain Sight. This is a four. This is a volume four. The day of the Lord in the end of America. Huh. You see, don't believe it. The most 